This is Kuretas, a giant robotic exoskeleton prowling the streets of Tokyo. And this amazing device actually allows paraplegics to walk. Get ready to check out 10 advanced exoskeletons and their uses. Though most of us take it for granted, the act of walking is an elusive dream for those with spinal cord injuries. Thanks to Rewalk Robotics' Rewalk Exoskeleton, many who had no hope of ever standing upright again are on their feet and walking. Rewalk is strapped onto the legs and torso and switched on with a smart wrist-borne controller. Once activated, users are generally able to stand without assistance. When the user's upper body is tilted forward, Rewalk's motors respond by initiating a forward step. Repeating this motion causes Rewalk to generate a sequence of steps that mimics natural walking. With handheld canes strapped to the forearms for balancing, Rewalk allows many users to stand on their own. The most widely known powered walk assist device, Rewalk has been approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for home and community use. Another company that has created an advanced, life-changing exoskeleton is New Zealand's Rex Robotics. This is the Rex Walking Device, a product they believe will help certain wheelchair users who can operate hand controls achieve far more freedom and upright mobility. Self-supporting and controlled by the user, Rex can help paraplegics stand, walk, and move around with both legs. Suitable for a wide range of uses, Rex can also help get convalescing patients back on their feet. Physiotherapists and Rex Bionics are developing robot-assisted physio Therapy. Using Rex, patients are able to attain an upright position, allowing them to participate in a series of robot-supported exercises. Also envisioned for home and work use, the Rex robotic device is a positive step in the right direction. For children with spinal muscular atrophy, life is a challenge. Developing muscle weakness between the ages of 6 and 12 months, these children often cannot stand or walk without help. The Spanish National Research Council has introduced an exoskeleton for these children that will help them walk for up to five hours. Still in the preclinical phase, the developers hope to make it available to medical facilities. Made for children between the ages of 3 and 14, this 26-pound device consists of support rods which fit around the user's legs and torso that can be adjusted as the child grows. With five motors in each leg that mimic human muscles, the model includes intelligence joints, which adapt to the symptoms of each child by automatically altering the brace's rigidity. Helping children with SMA stay active and avoid further complications from immobility make this a worthy and wonderful invention. Panasonic believes in eliminating physical barriers created by age, sex, and strength. Recently, their satellite company ActiveLink has created a new power assist suit, the Ninja, or PLN-31. This innovative exoskeleton is designed to lighten the load on any worker. An upgraded version of the Ninja lower body suit, the PLN-31 adds power to both the upper and lower body, making any task easier, regardless of physical strength. Worn by a member of the pit crew in 2015's Suzuka 8-hour endurance road race, the Ninja more than proved its worth. The company hopes to have the power assist suit available by 2017. ActiveLink has also developed the mighty MS2 Power Loader, a mega suit that can be used during disaster relief, construction, and public works. These powerful exoskeletons are paving the way for a more productive future for everyone. Not to be outdone by its Japanese counterparts, South Korean automaking giant Hyundai is developing its own tough-looking robotic exoskeleton, the H-Lex. Aimed at the transportation, industrial, and military markets, this suit will allow users to lift and manipulate objects weighing over 132 pounds, with no stress on the legs, arms, or back. The wearer straps in and controls the suit with normal body movements. Special hand controls provide grip and lift capability with a pair of grasping claws. Another version has been shown which appears to assist leg mobility only. If appearances mean anything, the H-Lex exoskeleton will be an impressive piece of gear. If you run across this innocent-looking young lady on the streets of Tokyo, you might want to steer clear, especially if she is wearing the Power Jacket MK3 from Sagawai Electronics. This poor gentleman, it seems, found that out the hard way. Originally created as a publicity stunt for a Japanese cartoon, the MK3 is all too real. Hands are placed on levers in its long arms, with the feet resting on two pedals inside the legs of its carbon fiber and aluminum frame. Its electronically controlled motors enhance the user's movements while walking 
walking, or when sprinting like a ninja. Stability is provided by an onboard motion slave system. Sagawa Electronics only produced five MK3s, which might not be such a bad thing. Imagine yourself piloting a terrifying giant agent of destruction through the streets of Tokyo, defending the Earth against alien robotic invaders. Aliens aside, such a war machine actually exists in the form of this 4-ton mega machine, Kiratas. This 13-foot monster of mayhem is capable of moving at 10 kilometers per hour. Kiratas is operated by a pilot from the inside or driven by remote control. Its giant hydraulic arms look ready to tear to shreds anything that stands in its opposition. The cockpit features full video display and touch panel controls. Kiratas can be outfitted with several weapons, including two Gatling guns that can fire 6,000 BBs per minute and a Lohas launcher loaded with water bottles. Auto alignment allows the pilot to lock onto any target and the smile shot feature actually fires the Gatling guns when the pilot smiles. Let's just hope that pilot doesn't start enjoying it too much. In addition to gaining millions of civilian fans around the world, the Iron Man movies have apparently caught the attention of the United States military. They've been testing the XOS-2 powered exoskeleton from Raytheon and its subsidiary Sarcos. In the field, this Iron Man inspired creation can turn regular soldiers into something akin to Superman. The XOS-2 does the lifting for its operator, reducing both strain and exertion. It will also enable users to work much faster. According to the creators, one operator in an exoskeleton suit can do the work of two to three soldiers, allowing military personnel to be assigned more important tasks. Powered by high-pressure hydraulics, the XOS-2 employs a number of sensors, actuators, and controllers. Users can easily lift 200 pounds repeatedly without fatigue. Yet with all of its strength, the XOS-2 is extremely agile, allowing for more delicate movements like kicking a soccer ball or climbing stairs. No matter what the task, soldiers wearing the XOS-2 will be far more capable. Ultimate Weapons Master, an entirely new form of combat sport, has burst onto the scene featuring real fighters wearing an advanced exoskeleton armor suit called the Lorica. The Lorica suit, which features enhanced levels of protection, is also capable of measuring and recording strikes to the armor from weapons, kicks, and punches. Scores are then processed in real time based on damage that would have occurred to an unprotected fighter's body. The damage is then displayed both on monitors and with LEDs on the suit. Viewers can experience combat from the fighter's perspective through helmet cameras, as well as listen to the sounds of combat through microphones embedded in the Lorica suit. Fighters engage in real martial arts style combat in matches which are broadcast on UMW's website. Made possible by advancements in exoskeleton technology, this sport could become wildly popular. As advanced as the world of virtual reality has become, the one thing that has generally been missing is the ability to touch and feel objects. Seattle-based Axon VR believes they are close to making this dream a reality with the Axon gaming suit and platform. When immersed within the Axon system, if you touch or pick up a virtual object, you'll actually feel it against your hand and be able to tell if it's hot or cold, round or square. You'll feel your footsteps as they touch the ground, even though you are suspended in the air by the Axon station. The ability to feel your virtual surroundings is made possible through many small tactile and temperature sensors located all throughout the suit. The suit will include a jacket, pants, gloves, and boots, and will be used with a virtual reality headset. Axon's VR is still developing this innovation, but once perfected, the possibilities for use are astounding.